guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video. I'm going to be doing two eye looks using only one palette, and I'm talking about the Maybelline Soda Pop palette. So I seen this walking through Walmart the other day, and it just jumped out at me. It was the only one left, and I just had to get it. The colors totally just spoke to me. I will leave some swatches right now. interested in seeing how I did these two eye looks right here then just keep on watching so the first shade that I'm going to go in with I'm using my Tom Ford number 13 blending brush and I'm going to take the shade ginger rail this is just going to be my transition color for this one eye. Now taking this Quo brush, it doesn't have a number on it, I'm going to go in with Crushing. It's this awesome orange shade I'm gonna put that in my crease but I'm not going to bring it up quite as high as the last shade and I'm just going to slowly build it up until it's to the orange that I want Next, with a Juvia's Place 007 Pro Blending Brush, I'm going to go in with a Root Beer. And I'm just going to deepen this outer corner. All right, so this brown shade, I did have to try to build up a little bit. So now with that Quo, I'm gonna go back in with that orange shade called Crushin'. Sorry, I had to wait for my lights. And I'm just going to go over the edge and blend in that crease. So now with a little bit of concealer and my Juvia's Place small definer brush, I'm just going to cut out that crease. Now with that same brush, I'm going to take some of Cherry Cola and I am going to spray a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus on it just because I want it to really pop and I'm just going to put this on the outer portion. Okay, so now I'm just going to flip this brush over 
and use the clean side. And I think I'm going to go in with Sugar High. And again, I'm going to go in with it wet. And I'm going to put this on the front portion. Wow, these shades wet are stunning. I'm just going to tap over with both colors here, both sides, flipping the brush back over because I just want to fuse those colors together, that red and that orange. Now back in with Root Beer. I just want to kind of bring this outer corner back to life. without taking away from what we just did. And back in with the Tom Ford and Ginger Rail. I'm just going to use that to buff out these edges ever so slightly. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Cola Float. And I'm going to hit up the outer portion of the lower lash line with Root Beer. kind of blend it up into that V area and then I just take my Tom Ford brush with nothing on it here and just blend right underneath and then for my inner corner I'm going to use tonic and I am going to get it wet I'm also going to place tonic right under the brow bone. Okay, so I'm going to jump off camera, finish this eye's liner and lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, this eye is done. I absolutely love how those colors turned out. They are so pigmented. They blend so easily. Amazing. So now, on to the other eye. Totally going to play in with these cool shades down here since I did a warm look. So I'm going to start off again with ginger ale, though. I mean, there's only so many transition shades here. Now I'm going to take Cherry on top. And I'm going to start creating a halo eye, I think. So I'm just going to use this to kind of shape out a halo eye. Now with a Mac 239, I'm going to go in with Blue Raspberry 
And I'm going to use this to really deepen up the halo eye effect here. Now I'm going to go back in with cherry on top and I'm going to kind of go over this, pop out some of that purple back around the edges, smooth things, you know the drill. Now back in with my trusty Tom Ford and ginger rail. I'm just using this to go around the very outer edge. And right under the bottom as well. Now we're going to take a little bit of concealer and we're just going to carve out the very center where that halo is going to be. Now I'm going to take Grape Pop. I am so excited for this purple shade. Oh my goodness. And of course I'm going to use it wet because they seem to be performing very well with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. And this is going to go directly in the center. Now I'm going to go back in with a little bit of blue raspberry and I just want to kind of go over this a little bit. Blending. I really want to fuse the colors together. You don't want any harsh, crazy lines. Now for the bottom, I'm just going to mimic, I'm going to do the dark and the bright in the center. So I'm going to start with cherry on top. And then I'm going to dip in with a little bit of blue raspberry. Then I'm going to take Grape Pop, and yes, you guessed it, I'm going to use it wet just because I want the extra pop. Now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with Soda Fizz, and... I'm going to use it wet, so I'll give it a spray, and I'm going to put that right there in the corner. And then to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to use tonic, just like I did with the other eye. Now I'm going to quickly go finish the liner and the lashes. All right. We're done both eyes. I, I love them both. This purple, oh my goodness. And the reds and the oranges.
I'm so blown away by this palette. If you guys have not tried the Maybelline New York Soda Pop palette, you guys gotta pick it up. This drugstore cheap ass palette is better than some of my expensive palettes. I, yes. Anyways, because I'm just rambling now, I'm gonna end it here. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have, do you have this palette? Have you tried it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you wanna try it? I don't know, let's just get the conversation flowing. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And of course, you know, if you wanna be notified, you gotta hit the bell. And until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous night.